I'm Carlos, I work at Universal Cycles in Studio City, California, and today I'll show you how to choose the best mountain bike tires for pavement. So here we have four different tires with different tread patterns and different in different widths. Um, when choosing a tire for your mountain bike for the pavement, uh, a lot of times it comes down to what you're comfortable with. Now, this tire being the thinnest tire and also the slickest tire would probably be, will be the lightest and fastest tire. But some people just don't like the width. They, you know, they feel like maybe it's a little bit slick and maybe not as safe. So that person may want to opt out for something like this, which is a little bit wider, has tiny, a uh, small tread design, which, you know, for, with dirt and things like that on the street would be, give you a little bit more, you know, a little bit more traction. Now, this tire here, out of all of these, probably gives you the best traction on the dirt and, uh, sorry, on, on the pavement if there is dirt there, but would probably be one, be one of the slower tires. But uh, being that it has an almost solid center, that makes it a little bit faster versus if it had, you know, cuts in it or gaps. Um, this one here is totally smooth, but it's very wide. So that's going to make it a little bit slower. Uh, the fact that it's wide, that's going to make it a tiny bit of a slower tire but some people do like that really wide balloon look on mountain bikes, especially on mountain bikes that are designed for a w knobby tire. When you add something like this, sometimes it looks a little strange and people just don't think it fits, so they will opt out for something that's wider and uh, just gives that larger footprint. As far as cost for the tires, uh, Typical cost on a tire, a single tire, is twenty to forty dollars for a slick. And what changes or what causes a tire to be less expensive or more expensive is uh, uh, the the type of bead it has. All of all four of these tires have what they call a wire bead. So in here, uh, this is just a wire, a higher higher end, more expensive tire, instead of having a wire, would have a Kevlar bead. So an advantage of a Kevlar bead is that they are lighter weight and easier to install onto your rim. So when cost is uh, involved, you know, sometimes people opt for a higher, a more expensive tire because if they do get flats, they are easier to install and fix. So this is Carlos and I just showed you a couple of things to look for when choosing a mountain bike tire for the pavement.